Judy Tallwing McCarthy has been an artist as long as she can remember. She considers her art a form of storytelling. Anytime I put a bead on my work, that's a prayer. Her work is hung in galleries all over the country, but seeing her piece in this gallery is one of her proudest moments. This gallery very specifically is for indigenous artists. It's, it's, it's recognizing that we're still here, we're still viable, we still have our culture, and we still have our history that we know. Miss Judy's piece is one of several that hang in the new Indigenous Art Gallery at Baltimore Center Stage. It's a collaboration with the Baltimore American Indian Center to highlight Native American artists and stories. To our knowledge, there's nothing quite like this in the city in terms of another gallery that's devoted specifically to um, Indigenous art in particular, but also it's very rare in the country as a whole. Ken Matt Martin with Baltimore Center Stage says the theater has always done a land acknowledgement to recognize the Native and Indigenous people who originally lived on this land, but they wanted to take it a step further at the start of this season. We said, well, sure, we can read a statement before the top of every show, but we'd actually like to do something a little bit more in terms of actually inviting in Native and Indigenous artists into our space. Joshua Webster is one of the artists invited into this space. It's his first time ever showing in a gallery. It's pretty big for, you know, my culture. It just shows that, you know, we still have a lot of vibrant love and color in us that we're still here to, you know, basically spread. The gallery is open and free to the public during regular box office hours. The art is also for sale. Both Joshua and Judy have already sold their pieces. But it's not just about having people look at the art and like it. It's also about pushing them to learn. I don't want them to just come in and say, oh, that's a beautiful painting. That's a beautiful photograph. I want them to want to know more about those people who did that. Because by learning that story, you learn a greater story. The folks here hope to expand the gallery and showcase more work by Indigenous artists. For more information on how you can get involved, you can visit our website. At Baltimore Center Stage, I'm Brianna Ross, WBAL-TV 11 News.